Don't click off this video because in the next three minutes, I'm going to review the newest film from the Sundance Film Festival, Love Me. Start the clock. All right, I gave Love Me an 80 out of 100. I'm going to tell you why right now. This is the newest film to uh, debut at the Sundance Film Festival starring Kristen Stewart, Stephen Yen. The two names alone will make you want to watch this film. But further than that, the concept, conceptually, this film is incredible from a concept conceptual stage. It is about a buoy and a satellite years and years and years and years and years after the extinction of mankind communicating with each other building a life for each other and learning about humanity it's very ambiguous there are huge swings that are that are put in here both creatively and filmmaking wise um and i respect the hell out of that now is this the best film i saw at sundance no i gave it an 80 out of 100 there are i think four or five other films that i rated higher than it but you have to give credit where credit is due. Kristen Stewart, Stephen Yen, both fantastic. If it is not for their performances, this really is more like an immersive kind of art experience about humanity than anything else. Um, these performances needed to land, and they did. I believed them both. They were both fantastic. And there are three stages of communication or form in this movie that I think were very interesting. It was, it was a very interesting story structure that I really uh was tied to and thought was was very interesting um but i will say though while they have conceptually and filmmaking wise pretty big swings i feel like the writing didn't hold up to par with those big swings um it can be very empty and base level at times i don't i didn't fully buy into our character's story did i want them to love each other of course but the way we get there felt incredibly hollow and it felt like it didn't it didn't do anything new in terms of thematically uh it, it's a lot about humanity self-worth how we view each other um, and how we view ourselves and it did it in a way that looked interesting and conceptually was interesting, but it wasn't telling us anything that we haven't heard before. So I think from a writing standpoint, it did lack and it didn't dive into the very deep concepts that I think I probably would have liked for it to dive into. It is an impressive feat of filmmaking and conceptual conceptual writing and world building but i think when we get down to the nitty gritty bare bones it just wasn't as good as i wanted it to be there wasn't a lot of emotion um and i was left feeling rather hollow at the end but again very ambitious go watch it for that go watch it for the performances i gave it an 80 out of 100 so it's not the worst thing i saw at sundance this year All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Second review of the new year. I really do appreciate you guys watching. This one was interesting. This was one of my top two most anticipated of the festival. I'm going to be doing a review of A Real Pain, which was my most anticipated coming up in the next few days. But this one, it, it's going to be highly divisive. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to really love it. I think people are going to really like hate it and think it's not good. Uh, I fall kind of in the middle. I think that there's a lot of really interesting things that are done here conceptually and from a filmmaking standpoint. But I just I don't think that the message really landed the way I wanted it to. And I felt like it felt rather hollow in the end. That's just me. Um, but yeah, whenever it comes out, go give it a watch. I think it is worth it for the performances and for the concepts alone um but you might walk out feeling a little hollow inside and feeling like the themes that they wanted to point to didn't fully land that's just my opinion um but that's pretty much it thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate you sticking with through the entire video sticking with the channel uh, make sure you, su you subscribe if you haven't already goal for the year is 500 subscribers it's a fairly lofty goal but i would appreciate it if you like the video if you hit a little subscribe subscribe to my main channel we got more long form movie content coming out there in the next few weeks including my 2024 blu-ray collection video which is always my biggest video of the year i gotta film that i'm already kind of dreading it because it's gonna be a long video um and go follow me on instagram new uh new aesthetic change for the new year i've done that every year i've had this this page but pretty radical new aesthetic change which i'm actually fairly excited about so go follow me on instagram i'll be posting reels over there as well one minute reviews um of all the movies that i see this year 
so yeah that's pretty much it guys i want to thank you all so much for watching again thank you for sticking with the channel it really does mean the absolute world i hope you all have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video